Hey, hi, hello, my friends. It's Christy with 4 a.m. Junk Journals. Today is Monday, and I am here with an Art Before Breakfast project with you. Um, so welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Um, and if you like your visit here today, please go ahead and give me a like and subscribe to my channel. It's really going to help me out. Also, I ask if you would, please just watch this all the way through to the end, even if you just kind of leave it running. Um, yeah, it's very, very helpful to me. So thank you. Um, anyway, let's get started. So um, uh, some of you may know that I like to play with AI image generators. Um, and I've been doing this for a while now. But... Um, when I first started, um, I was playing with, um, you know, I, I didn't really know what I was doing, is what I'm trying to say. And, um, I still don't, <laughs> but, um, my not knowing is sometimes a little more successful these days. Um, however, uh, so what I've got here are the first 12 AI images I ever made. And I thought unedited. These are, these are entirely unedited. I haven't done anything to them. Um, and so I thought, how fun would it be? to just use these in something today these first 12 and then i may just work my way through you know we'll see we'll see how interested i stay in it because you know i have adhd so i'm all over the place sometimes anyway um so yeah so that's what i'm doing um and these first images, I was trying to get an image of a little girl uh, sleeping kind of on, on a hillside in a um, flower bed um, with a dragon. She was dreaming of a dragon flying overhead. That's what I was after. And I wanted, you know, kind of a field of pink flowers. Um, I think at some point I must have also mentioned a unicorn because I've got several images with unicorns. But I remember that when I first started, that was my thing. I was trying to get this little girl sleeping on a hillside in a bed of pink flowers, um, dreaming of this dragon flying over her head. Don't remember what it was that was going on that I wanted this for, but I do remember wanting that image, and that was why I originally came to the AI stuff was in looking for something that I could produce this image with. Um, I got some cool images. They were a lot more pink than I was after in um, most cases. I love the color pink, but I never really got exactly what I wanted. Um, this was potentially the closest, but there was no dragon. And this one was pretty, and it had the dragon, but it still wasn't quite right. So, um, and like I said, I can't remember about the unicorn, but I must have asked for one. Um, also, there is an image, I believe, in here. Um, where I must have said something about a mermaid or maybe I just said fantasy in general and so like she is a um, fairy here because you can see her fairy wings um, so I'm guessing at some point in there and see so we've got the dragon here I'm guessing at some point in there I changed what I was asking for and see we've got a little pink dragon here <laughs> A little pink dragon girl yeah well see and then i've got her with the with the dolphin and stuff so um at some point i either changed what i asked for or well i must have changed what i asked for but i guess i don't know if i asked for fantasy or um specifics i'm not sure 
but I do know that these images have just kind of sat there. You know, um, I haven't really done anything with them. Uh, so I printed them and thought it would be fun for us to um, have a little creative time. I'm not, I mean, what I want to do, let me show you. What I want to do is to put together a little writing journal um, for keeping notes or thoughts or um, things I'm thankful for, you know, gratitude or whatever. But so what I did was I have this huge stack of old um, spiral notebooks. This one was from when I took an English 207 course. And so I graduated with my bachelor's in 2017 and would have taken English 207 because it took me 20 years to get my bachelor's um, because I kept having to drop and then go back. Um, so I would have taken English 207 ages ago because that's an early course. Um, so this has probably been floating around my house for 15 years. Um, so what I did was I cut it in half. Um, and well, first I cut the, uh, you know, the binding edge where you have the spiral wires going. I cut that off and then I cut it in half. And then I cut it down again um, to make it the size I wanted. And uh, so, yeah, so that's what I did. And this is, I believe I, I did five and a half by, yeah, five and a half by seven and a half. Um, and then I just uh, used these little rings to put it together. And I saved the other half, um, which I'll do something with later. So, so that's what I did. And so my plan is to make it into a little um, writing journal. Um, let's see if I can... And so it would have like collage on the front of the page and then space to write on the back. And since it's lined paper, that should work really, really well. So anyway, how is everyone today? I hope you're doing well. Um, I wanted to talk for a few minutes while we were doing this. <clears throat> I was watching a video this morning by someone I just ran across. Uh, her name is Wendy Duar Hughes. I don't know if I said that right. I'm sorry, Wendy. Uh, not that you're probably watching this, but if you are, I apologize if I uh, messed your name up. Um, and the video I was watching of hers was how to have more fun with blue books. Okay. Um, because I, I love blue books. And so I was watching that. And um, so she had asked a question. She was doing kind of a chat with me type thing. Although I don't know why we call them chat with me's when you know we're chatting and you're watching a video. But whatever. <laughs> um, 
a craft and chat is what I call it. Anyway, um, so she was doing this video and she was saying, um, you know, she asked the question, what is it that women, especially women in an age group of about 55 and up, um, what is it that they want out of life? You know, what, what, in what ways has it changed? You know, what is it that they want out of life? Um, it's not word for word, I don't think, but anyway, that's what she was asking. And uh, so she was giving her own, you know, um, take on it. And um, I thought, well, you know, let me just uh, see if I can't, as we're working, um, think about this a little bit and talk it out on what it is that I want out of life. Now, I am not. 55 or older, um, but I'm very, very close. I'm knocking on the door, right? Because I, I will be 51 in December. So, um, I feel like I, I fall into that category. And uh, so, and so I was thinking about that question of, you know, what is it that I want out of life at this point? And a lot of what I want are some of the same things that Wendy said um, that she wanted out of life. And primarily that is um, I want to have fun. I want to um, enjoy what remains you know I mean not that I realize that I'm not um, so old that I should be expecting to like not have much time left okay I know that but we all never know do we I mean honestly we just don't know how much time we have and there are people much much younger than me who never have the privilege of making it to 50 years old. Um, so, that said, um, yeah, so, I mean, she was talking about this desire that she has to um, have some fun and just enjoy her life. And I think that's what I want out of life as well, is just at this point in my life, I just want to experience life in a more positive way uh, than I have in the past, if that makes sense. And so, um, yeah, I mean, not that it's all been negative, don't get me wrong. But I think that all of us, especially, you know, the older age group, have probably had a lot of experience in life that uh, is what we would call um, difficult or um, if not difficult it's you know it, it, it's life right the good with the bad so um, so now it's time to have more good than the bad right And so, I feel like um, that's where I'm at, is just I want to find the joy. Is living. 
And so, um, you know, I, I raised five kids, um, my youngest being, uh, he'll be 18 in two months. Which is just crazy. How does that happen? Um, but yeah, so my youngest will be 18 in two months. And um, and then I have uh, my three oldest all have children of their own, families of their own. Um, my fourth child, uh, he and his wife do not have children. Um, and I do not believe the plan to have children at all. In fact, I mean, I'm, I'm certain of that. So, um, <sighs> so I've done all these things and oh, <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, why is that so long? And um, and I you know, I don't know if I would say I've worked hard. I have at different times. Um, and then lots of times I was, um, more of a laid back, I don't want to do that type of Person, you know, um, and I think that's when we're kids. Um, lots of times we're just like, <clears throat> we don't want to work, right? That was certainly true for me. Um, and it's, I mean, if I'm honest, I don't want to work now. I love what I do, but I would much rather stay home and play, right? Or not stay home, go somewhere and play. Although less and less these days because I really have become such a homebody. Um, okay, I'm really liking this, but I'm thinking that I want to back her with some black so that she really pops off the page. I don't think. Yeah, see, it's not quite long enough. So I'm going to trim her down some more. Um, let me see how wide this is. Okay. So I'm going to trim her down. And I'm going to take it off of her arm side. I'm going to get her to about right there, I think. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I was, I didn't want to work as a kid. And, uh. Yeah, like I said, I still really don't. Um, I just recognize that. Um, well, I recognize a couple of things. One, I really like my job. Um, and so, you know, if I'm going to do it and do it well, I'm going to have to do it. <laughs> um, and I'm learning. And so, you know, I mean, teaching is great. But one of the biggest things about teaching that I love is the fact that I'm learning while I'm doing it. So I'm going to glue this down here and then I'll trim it off the top so I can try and get it, you know, to look about the same on each side of the black. So that's what I'm going to do. Let me set this to the side. Um, so yeah, if you don't know, if you're not familiar with my channel and you don't know, um, I am an English teacher um, at a university uh, about three hours from where I live. And um, I make that commute um, twice a week on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So, um, and I teach two sessions of 1301. Um, and uh, I'm also a, a grad student. So I work as a, as a graduate teaching assistant. Um, meaning that I am the teacher and um, also a student. Um, that was pretty obvious, wasn't it? Um, anyway, uh, 
so yeah, I mean, I, I love it, and I wouldn't have it any other, well, I mean, I'm sure I would have it any, any other way, but I mean, I love what I do, but if I'm honest, it's a whole lot more fun to be here in my craft room playing, um, or spending time, I don't know, reading, or watching a movie, or, you know, any number of things. Um, okay, I'm loving this. However, I am thinking I might want to see that's super pretty. Okay. Now, I've really, I've got all of my washi tape packed up right now, um, and I really want to cover this with something, so I'm trying to think what I could do. I might do some lace. I might come back and sew along this and sew on some lace. Hmm. Do I want to just put that on there? I can't decide. I'm going to set this to the side for the moment and we'll come back to it because I truthfully cannot decide what I want to do with it. And there's something else I want to do here. So, yeah, we'll set this to the side for now. Okay. So then the other thing I wanted to do, um, I am an admin over on Junk Journals Crafts and More. And um, my friend T, who um, it's her group, and um, I haven't been over, I haven't been an admin there very long. Um, T invited me to join her doing that because I was helping, uh, I was running swaps and anyway, it's a whole thing. But um, so I haven't been over there very long, but my friend T, she uh, had sent me a message and she said, hey, have you ever done this? And she sent me this picture and I was like, no, what exactly is that? And she said that what it was is, uh, I forget what kind of collage she called it, strip collage maybe? Anyway, what they do is they take two images and they cut it into strips. Let me see. This is five inches. So if I do half inch strips, so they cut it into strips and then they weave them together. And I thought that would be a lot of fun to try. So what I'm doing here is I am cutting these and I, yay, what did I do? Okay, so I cut five and then I cut five and a half, or I'm sorry, four and a half, and now I'm cutting four. Why does this one look so much wider than the others? Why is it so much wider? What did I do wrong? Huh. Hmm. 
Oh, shoot, now I think I got them out of order and I'm not sure which one is which. Um, yeah, I don't like that. I like this. Okay, so. So some of them may be wider than others because I'm not sure what I did there. I didn't think that those first ones looked like a half an inch, but measured as a half inch. Huh, not sure what I did. Anyway, um, so I thought I would try this strip collage thing and see what I thought. Even though the first two are clearly going to be different. Only three. And two and a half. And two. And I was thinking um, that we might um, eventually do this for a swap over on the group. Maybe even for our next um, Boredom Busters. Now this this time I already had Boredom Busters set up as being um, an advent calendar. So okay. All right, and then I will take the other image and I'll do strips this direction, right? And so probably what I'll do is I'll just go to set these down here because I need to um, keep them in order, right? And I have no idea if I'm doing this right, so this may be like Oh, my dogs are so wound up today. I'm making me nuts. Making me nuts. And believe me, it doesn't take much to make me nuts. Can you close my door back, please? Or, well, bring, yeah, now, uh, well, once you get the other one. I need the other one. Thank you. 
Thanks, Bill. Okay, I think this is where the hard part comes in. <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out how to glue it down um, without, you know, messing it up. So, first I want to cover this with something um, because I don't want to just uh, put it down on there. Um, I've got some music. So if you don't know, I'm in the process of moving. So a lot of my stuff, I mean like a lot of my stuff is packed up. Um, but I have some music page here that we might use to cover parts of this. And I'm sorry if you guys can hear my dog. She just came in from outside and um, my husband. Seven and a half and this is three and a half of it. So no, four and a half of it. I don't know. I need another two and a half inches is what I'm thinking. Okay, so. Or I could turn it this way. So what I'm going to do is um, I am going to this is the halfway point and I kind of want them to meet in the middle the two sides of the music paper so that most of it's going to be covered by my collage right most of that join will be covered by my collage so, <clears throat> hopefully you can see this. I'm always a little concerned about how much you can see because I'm jammy crafting, which means I'm not properly dressed. And um, so, I only want you to see what's on the table. Um, but sometimes I pull this too close to me, right? So... <clears throat> when I say I'm jammy crafting, it is 2.26 in the morning. I am, the last couple of nights, I have gone to bed really super early. And then woken up about midnight and been unable to get back to sleep. So, um, like night before last, I went to bed at um, I can't remember if it was seven or eight. Might have even been eight thirty. Um, anyway, I went to bed fairly early that night. And um, I was up at 12.30. And then last night, probably largely because of that, um, I was exhausted. <clears throat> and I went to bed at uh, 6 o'clock or just after 6. And so I again was up at midnight. And so now it's 2.30 in the morning. And... 
I am most definitely in my pajamas. And I've been in here working since I woke up. I do have some other things I need to do, but I wanted to get my Art Before Breakfast video in um, before I started working on school stuff, grading, and um, packing. So, because, you know, priorities are all messed up. <laughs> so, okay, so we're going to do that, and then we will trim around it here in a minute. Let it dry a little. Okay. <sighs> I am going to have to trim around it before I start laying things out because otherwise I might get off of the page. Guys, where are my scissors? Did I pack all of my scissors up? I swear my dog is over there acting like she's going to have a heart attack. It's like you should not have been out there running. I don't think I'm going to be able to use the scissors. You should not have been out there running hard enough that it's making you breathe like that. Actually, it's because she barks like a crazy animal. So she's either uh, part beagle, which is what we originally thought, or my husband looked it up and said that he's pretty sure that she's a foxhound. Well, not probably. Probably not full blood, but, um, you know, at least partly. Could be full blood. Who knows? Um, because what had happened was somebody dumped her. And um, my son found her, brought her to my house. Um, well, she kind of followed him to my house. He uh, found her in the middle of the road jumping at vehicles and um, kind of uh, egged her off the road, you know, to follow him. So, um, to follow his car. And then he, you know, came to my house. Um, and, I mean, it wasn't very far. Apparently, she was just up the road. So, anyway... Um, and we weren't sure, you know, we weren't for sure at first that she'd been dumped. We were pretty sure, but um, he took her to the vet, and the vet was like, you know, this is obviously like a farm do type dog, and, you know, it might be that she just got out and got lost and blah, blah, blah. And, but we were like, well, she's awfully thin, but the vet was like, no, she's really, she's okay. And um, so we called animal control um, to see if possibly they had a report of somebody missing a dog and we um, put an ad out on Facebook and you know I mean did all the things in the groups and you know stuff and um, didn't hear anything didn't hear anything and so um, then we realized because I was like, I can't imagine anybody dumping this sweet little dog. She's so well behaved. <laughs> and so sweet. And she is. Oh, she's a good girl. Um, but we kept her. Because I am a glutton for punishment. And um, so we kept her and named her Octavia and uh, she just stopped panting she's like you said my name mom what um, anyway and then we discovered <laughs> why <laughs> somebody might consider not that it was okay but we now see why somebody might consider dropping this dog Oh my gosh, she's such a pain in the butt. She, uh, first of all, barks nonstop. And at the time that she was dropped, um, she was in her first heat. She's just a puppy. She was in her first heat. 
And I imagine, my guess is, that she was driving them batty, barking. One second. You're all right, Taylor. Um, and so when she first came here, oh, she was such a good girl. Yeah, she was scared because I'm going to tell you, I love her. I do. And she's a sweetheart, but she is not a good girl. <laughs> She is housebroken, but she has that going for her, um, and she is uh, friendly, you know, with people, and um, for the most part, with the dogs, although she likes to pester the crud out of my other female um, Poor Emmy, she's like, Mom, make her stop. But anyway, um, she doesn't mess too much with the boys. I don't know if they put her in her place right away or if it's just because they're older. But she does drive Emmy crazy. So, um, so yeah, she's a mess. So I did these in these tiny strips by accident, and I'm thinking I'm going to just do those together. You know what I'm saying? Like, weave these two together instead of as separate pieces. So I'm thinking let's put this down, right? Like, okay, wait, let's figure out, I know what I need to do. Let's start by figuring out how it will lay out on there. Okay, so a lot of my stuff, like I said, is already packed up. And then the things that, oh, that's not, okay. Um, the things that are not already packed up, um, some of it is in the other room which I could go and get, the problem being that um, as soon as I get up, Octavia is going to think that it's time to G-O-O-U-T, and that will be a problem. Okay, so I'm going to start by putting this right here. Mm, nope, it's going to have to come over more. Right about there. Okay, let me put a strip of glue. Sorry, I didn't mean to get quiet. Um, I'm concentrating at this point, and so um, yeah. I want to start by putting these down right there. Right there. Okay. And I'm going to put this down. Right there. And then I'll put those down. Mm 
um, to go a little further. Okay. And then put That one down. Then this one. Okay, and then do this one. Well, this is a quiet activity because I'm telling you, it takes a lot of concentration. Guys, I cannot wait to get moved and get my new craft room set up. Ah, I'm so excited. Um, actually, what's going to happen is I'm going to have, okay, so there's a garage room at the new house that is about twice the size of my current craft room. And um, what I'm going to do out there for now, anyway, is I'm going to turn it into an additional okay so there's three bedrooms so one bedroom is going to be for me and my husband one for my son and then the third one is going to be a craft room recording room office space combo um, so it's where I will go in and do my videos it's where I will um, do my school stuff um, anything like that will be done in that room. Um, and so obviously it's going to have crafting stuff in it because that's where I'm going to be doing my videos, right? But it's going to have limited uh, stuff in it. And then the garage room is going to be a full-fledged, like that's where most of my stuff is going to be kept. Um, and so it'll be set up with like my shelves and all of that and all of my stuff on them. And, um, but anyway, so I'm going to have so much room because already the garage room is like twice the size of my current craft room. And then on top of that, I'm going to have, you know, um, my recording stuff, my sewing machine, all of those things will be in my office space. And so there's just going to be so much more room. And I think the setup is going to be so much better. I'm so excited and um, my husband's excited because he's like oh, your stuff won't be all over the house <laughs> I'm like, yeah okay I'll still have to have some stuff in the living room um, a little bit because like but I mean I mean very very little 
because um, in the evenings when we're sitting in there watching TV, which we tend to do at dinner time and after, um, I like to fussy cut or, you know, something, uh, sometimes glue um, while we're doing that. And so, I mean, there will still be a couple of things here and there, but it shouldn't be bad. Yeah, I really wish I knew where this was. Uh, so, yeah, I'm thinking I'm going to sew around this. And then we can collage on top of it and maybe clean a few things up. So this went wonky. My plan had been to have like a border up here and a border down here. And it would be kind of centered in the middle. Um, but it went wonky. It didn't work the way I planned. And that's okay. I'm all right with that. Um, but I do want to do something to kind of make it less obvious. But I want to sew around it first, and then we'll decorate the top of it. And I super love the way it turned out. I think it's cute. I mean, you can see there are errors, right? But you can you can pick out kind of you know what you're looking at a little bit. Um, so yeah. Okay. Um, let me. Pause this video and run and go and um, sew around this. And I'll be right okay. back. So um, let me just make sure that we're in frame. Yeah, okay. So I did sew around it. Um, and I, so I started over on this edge, but then I decided I was only going to go around this piece. Um, so I'm going to probably put a label or something there. I'm not worried about it. Um, and if not, if I don't decide to, it looks fine. It's, it's not a big deal. But what I do want to do is do some inking on top of my thread um, with some vintage photo. I am going a little darker. Um, but I'm going to fix that here in a second. Um, you'll see. It won't be. Now, I did notice because um, I had to change out my battery while I was off camera. And. Um, I did notice that this has been going a really long time already. I'm at well over an hour. Um, and so I probably am not going to be able to finish up on camera. I may have to finish up and then come back and just show you what I did. Um, because, or I might just cut out part of that weaving, which would be fine too. If I did that, then it wouldn't be so long. That might be what I do. That might make more sense. Okay, and then I want to come in with a little bit, actually, hold up. I want to come in with a little bit of this yellow. This is fossilized amber. Fossilized amber is a um, dark kind of yellow. Um, sometimes I'll refer to it as dark and other times as bright. Um, but basically what I mean is that the shade is very bold. Um, it's not muted at all. You can see.
good. And then I'm going to come back with my wilted violet. I'm trying to think if I knew. I probably packed it all up. Oh, there's my marker I was looking for yesterday. Um, nope, I didn't. So I've got a little piece of sandpaper here. It has the number 220 on the back. I don't know anything at all about sandpaper, so I don't know if that's like, is it called grit? Anyway, I don't know, but um, I'm going to just do the edges a little bit. Then this is some frayed burlap. I'm just going to come over the top. Well, all the edges. Like that. And you can see it's really starting to get like this aged look to it. Um, that is going to probably prevent me from needing to do anything to kind of offset the how crooked and weird it, it got. Um, because with this aged look, I'm not going to feel that need. Okay, let's see. I need to. There it is. So this is my gesso. Now, my gesso tends to get a little thick, actually. Actually, this isn't bad today. Um, and I usually have like a medicine drop, a medicine bottle. I don't know where my medicine bottle went. I usually keep a medicine bottle over here for this purpose. Mm. Oh, there it is. Um, and so what I'm going to do, it, this isn't bad, but I'm still going to add a spray or two of water. To my gesso. And then I've got a little stir stick, and I'll just kind of move that around there. Just to kind of dilute or thin it a bit. Then I'm going to take this and I will dip it in there like so. I 
And I'm going to put it, I think I'm going to put it here. And then I think I might want one. All right, that might be a bit much, but, and then because I only put a little bit on there, it's okay, and I have this um, thing that I put over the top, whoops, this way, and it helps to seal it up a bit because that's why it gets dried out, is because it doesn't seal well. So. And those will dry, and then um, I'll do a little bit more inking over the top of them. I'm trying to decide. Um, I, I might, might do a little bit of, actually, I think I will go ahead and do that. I'm going to just take the edge of my scissors, and I'm just going to, here and there, Um, so I'm going to do these last couple of steps, get this dry, ink over it, um, add any decorations that I want to add, um, and then I will come back and just show you at the end what we did, and hopefully between that and editing out a lot of the weaving, um, this video won't be two hours long. All right. Okay, friends, I'm back. Um, so we didn't get much done. Um, we only got through two of the 12 images, or I'm sorry, four of the 12 images. Um, but that's okay because, you know, I, I'm not in a hurry. <laughs> so I can come back to this another day. Um, okay, but here's what I got done. I did go ahead and finish up the cover. I sewed around it. I did some inking. Um, I put on some book corners. Um, I love the way it turned out. I think that's super pretty. Um, don't know if I'll add anything else to it. Uh, may come back to visit this again later, but we'll see. Um, I thought about maybe like a, a title or something here. Um, but again, um, we will see what I think at a later time. Um, this is the inside cover. Um, again, sewed around. Well, obviously I sewed around the whole thing. Um, and I inked it. Um, the book corners are there. I uh, made this image into a pocket, which I don't really have anything to show you. Um, but, I mean, you can see that it's a pocket, I'm sure. But let me just... Um, well, let me just grab that. So, yeah, so we got a pocket there. And then... Um, over here we have the page that we made with the um, the weaving and I love the way this turned out guys I know I kept saying oh I'm messing this up but actually it looks fantastic um, I did where here I did two rounds of straight stitching um, and when I say straight stitching I make it as wonky as possible partly because I like the aesthetic partly because I'm really not that good at sewing and so I'll get off on a stitch and then it's like eh, might as well mess it up anyway 
but yeah so those are kind of there's two rounds of straight stitch there on this one I used the um, I forget what the stitch is called well anyway you know what I'm talking about I'm sure um, and then I did a lot of inking distressing you know the gessoing you guys saw this on camera um, but I super love the way that turned out. And then on the back side, this is being left for writing space, but there's a lot of inking around there and it looks fantastic. So that's the first, uh, the cover and the first page done. And then I've got all these pages left to do. I have eight images that we've already printed waiting to be put in. Um, and yeah, this was a lot of fun. So. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope you found this useful or at the very least entertaining. I hope that you crafted along with me and I hope you'll join me again for another video very soon. If you like what you saw today, be sure and give me a big thumbs up. If you'd like to see more from this channel, hit the subscribe button. And if you click the little bell, it will notify you every time I upload a new video. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you're crafting today. Drop me a picture. I'd love to see it. I'll talk with all of you again soon. Bye for now.